Hi guys, Ben Aspects. <laughs> Hi guys, Ben Aspects Tech here. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are watching this video, I would like to thank you. And uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys. You can subscribe to my channel. Please do this because you see when I click here, apparently I cannot subscribe to myself. So I'm just clicking here, guys. And then you see I got a message. Are you sure that you want to subscribe to Ben Aspects Tech? Yeah, apparently I cannot subscribe to myself, but some breaking news guys, you can subscribe to myself, thank you for that, and without any further ado, I want to present you some low light photos comparison between the Google camera Aronova 7.3 Final Beta 5 and the OnePlus 7 Pro stock camera running on the latest Oxygen OS Open Beta 12, alright? I did some shots yesterday, you know how it really works, again, you see really the conditions that I have to work under, <laughs> so they're very hard during this quarantine time, I will appreciate your support. Hitting up the subscribe button and ringing the bell icon. But that's the way it is, guys. All right, stay tuned and let's start the video. Let's start with the very first comparison, guys. You know how this grill works. I'm using the OnePlus 7 Pro. I do a photo with the OnePlus 7 Pro stock camera and one photo with the Google Camera 7.3. Then I'm going to show you both photos, guys, and I'm going to do a bot comparison. Sometimes the stock camera photo is going to be on the left side, sometimes on the right side, but yeah, you are covered, guys, because all the time you're going to see the shot on OnePlus by VST means that this picture is apparently shot on the OnePlus 7 Pro stock camera. Let's start with the very first picture, guys. On the left-hand side, you can see we have Google camera, and on the right-hand side, we see we have the picture shot by the OnePlus stock camera. And actually, let me try to show you something. I'm trying to zoom in really hard on the cars here. And we can really see, guys, I have to tell you, with this shot, I have been really impressed with the OnePlus 7 Pro. We see that, of course, noise reduction is a little bit higher here, but then we see also that the level of detail is not so bad, all right? The picture from the Google camera looks a little bit more sharp, but if we see all the main parameters there, they're almost the same, of course. I think the um, shutter speed is a bit different, but the ISO is 100, so I think in those shots, I would say that both cameras did nail it down. And let's just look at some details here. You see, that's not readable, but that's also not readable. So here, I would say no clear win. I would rather prefer you know, the picture from the stock camera here. Okay, let's see the next shot, or another interesting shot here because we have some interesting lighting conditions and then here we can see a little bit how the both cameras are playing with the auto white balance again here on the right hand side we have the oneplus stock camera and on the left hand side we have google camera now if we just go and do like this guys i would rather say we have a clear winner here more details on the google camera picture of course more sharpness uh shutter speed almost the same we have the same aperture Something interesting here, we have twice the ISO compared to the picture we have on uh, the Google camera. But overall, I think here we have a clear win. You see all the details here, they are really more and they're really better. You see even this cable, if you are just looking at a very zoomed, let's say, crop, you rather not notice that here we have a, a cable, but rather on the Google camera picture, you see that it's quite noticeable. All right, again, both pictures are not so bad. I think also that Google camera did a better job here exposing uh, the sky, so the details really are a little bit better. So here, I think a clear winner is the Google camera picture. All right, let's go with the next one. A very interesting shot. Let me tell you why. Now, let me first unzoom it so you see this shot is made under some very hard conditions. Okay, we have some dark areas here, which is kind of the trees, and then we have a sunset, so it's not a difficult shot. And actually, this was one of the shots that kind of impressed me with the stock camera. And again, it's clear that the Google camera, you know, has some advantages, specifically here in the lower light areas and the exposure. But given the fact that almost the same settings are used in terms of ISO, in terms of aperture, shutter speed, of course, a little bit different, but uh, nevertheless, you know, it's, I'm just really impressed by the stock camera, and I think that really they improved and upped their game. And let's try to see here some of the clouds, guys. All right, better drop, of course, here. Here, you know, it is too bright. I think highlights a little bit not so good, not so well, dynamic range, also not so good as the Google camera, but overall, I think here, of course, Google camera winning, overall, though, still a very nice picture created by the stock camera. All right, let's go for the next shot. Next shot, we have a mall. All right, this one is interesting because we can compare details. If we unzoom it, guys, on the right, we have the OnePlus 7 Pro stock, and then here we can see out wide balance a little bit more on the cold side. But okay, that's understandable, and those are all the details. But let's try to zoom here, guys. All right, so you see here reserved 
clearly more sharpness on the Google camera picture, but this doesn't really mean necessarily more detail, right? Some might argue with me, but okay, if we need to zoom further now, we can see here we're almost able to read what they say um, here, not so much. Overall, again, a clear winner here is the Google camera, but still the OnePlus stock camera is delivering a nice and consistent picture. All right, maybe, maybe if we zoom a little bit on the sky, yeah. All right, now we see the power of the Google camera. You see here, there is a crane, which you almost cannot see here on the stock picture. So Google camera still doing a better job, you know, with dynamic range and especially those highlights here that we want to capture. That's these tiny nitty gritty details. If we're doing pixel peeping, then of course the camera is always better, but you know, this stock camera from the OnePlus 7 Pro sh should be really sufficient for a person that just want to post images, you know, on social and just like, yeah, should like a normal person. Okay, next few images again, I think same area, so let's just try to go for the full crop first. Okay, on the right hand side, stock camera, almost the same, you know, 100% crop. Now, if you want to try to zoom the details, we can see again here, focus is a little bit better, I have the feeling here details are kind of lost. So I think this here is a clear winner again through the Google camera. But of course, this should not surprise anybody, right? Also, just look at the clouds here. You know, on the stock camera, it's kind of like a Monet drawing. Here, I think you can still see that there are clouds. You can still see that we have here the sky. You can quite separate these two. And here, I think not so much. All right. The next one to go, again, I think a very hard shot, given the fact that, you know, it requires a lot of dynamic range and yeah. I think here it's clear. So here we have the stock camera on the left side and we have the Google camera on the right side. And let's just take and compare here the warehouse. So you just see the level of details, see all the highlights and the shadows. Still not a very bad job done by the OnePlus stock camera. But if you just see here, guys, the results, I think here we have a clear winner. And again, it's the same shot that we saw last time. Of course, from a different angles. Even here, guys, you see, you're able to understand what is almost what they write here, here, not so much. So exposure dynamic wise, better, better, of course, cool camera. Okay, now it's getting interesting, guys. And again, those are the photos that are taken into a low light condition and you're gonna see it's gonna get better. This one was an interesting shot that I took because here I had the feeling that the shot on the OnePlus camera was better compared to the one on the Google camera. I'm not sure what, why this happened. Here we can see that the sky is kind of like overblown compared to the OnePlus stock camera where it is almost, you know, not the same, but it is definitely better, you know, almost noticeable difference here. So overall, I would say that here, you know, although the details, if you just see the pavement, still, you know, Google camera is able to capture more details, kind of like more sharpness applied, but still overall, I like this picture better. You know, it just is more real here. See, almost you cannot separate the clouds from the sky. Okay, so more to go. And uh, just have in mind, guys, the more I show you these pictures, the darker actually, uh, you know, it's getting outside. So here again, we have this typical scenario where we have uh, some dynamic range involved with the sun setting. And again, I mean, it's really clear, especially in those very harsh scenarios, the Google camera always is able to provide a more consistent exposure, higher level of dynamic range. And you see uh, even details. So you see here, you're almost not able to see the branches and the clouds. And here you can really differentiate, okay, this here are branches, this here is the cloud, and this are the sky. Although, although honestly, again, the OnePlus top camera is not giving guys a bad picture, right? So this is very important to notice. All right, and now I think we're getting, we're slowly getting into the more interesting part. Again, that's a very hard shot. And you can see here, I would say almost one to one, of course, zooming in, zooming in, we just see, you know, more sharpness on the Google camera. Of course, I'm using here the uh, six arm press XML. Of course, this is already a lot of fine tuning involved here, just stock and auto HDR whatsoever. But then still, you know, still the OnePlus camera here, gave I think a nice outlook to all the clouds. So I would rather go for the picture on the right side here, even though the detail on the building is better on the Google camera. Just see all the lights here, you know, you can clearly separate the, the, the distinctive lights and here it's a little bit harder to do so, right? Now again, I promise you, like the interesting stuff, just take a look on that picture, all right? So OnePlus on the left side, Google camera on the right side. And actually let's try to zoom in here and just see all the details, guys. And this is where I'm telling you that for me, the one, Plus, stock camera is doing a very, very good job. Again, it's not 100% comparable to the Google camera in terms of quality, but it's still very consistent and very nice. Detail levels, 
captured very fine you can see here and then even if we go and we can see right it, okay it's not again google camera you see here we have some distinction between all the leaves from the uh, tree and also the clouds here it's not the case but overall still a very nice picture you know and those conditions guys were already starting to get hard meaning low light okay this one here absolutely interesting all right it gives you kind of a landscape view and I, I mean yeah here we have a, a definitely winner i'm even not going to tell you but just see the differences between google camera and the oneplus stock camera and guys here i've started already to use the nice cape versus the nice side and that's why i'm saying it's very important because nobody is really close to google except probably huawei with some of their all tricks and that they have but just see here you no know, exposure just see here the level and the details i mean yeah here you know it's more i'm using a, you know it's i used to say it like like a monet painting you see here is you cannot distinguish what it is here although we know with this high crop still you're able to separate you know uh, the, the details and again if we just try to zoom on the building here just look at the details guys all right so you see what I mean here? Let's try to zoom this shot. See here, guys, again, if you just look at this like a normal picture, maybe you say they're almost the same. But if you start to look on the details, just see the grass here, almost not noticeable. It's just like somebody threw, you know, like a green paint, you know, on the water, something like that. Here, you know, we can even distinguish the little, the, the separate grass and etc. So I think here, definitely a better job. Uh, what to say about the building and etc. So Google camera definitely a winner here and again it's getting even more interesting So let's see the next one next one. I think oh, this one is almost the same shot But again, I think a little bit darker. Okay clear winner again here. We have Google camera on the right side Okay, this one is interesting again every time I took those shots You know just I think two minutes after the after the one and the other uh, it, it was getting darker and darker and just just see what happens here guys that's a very typical example it's already dark outside so by using night side okay here you can see the grass you can see the trees the leaves you can see you know even the mountain here you can do and pretty much see the same but just look at the clouds eh? and even just just look at the building here here we still have a very distinguished lines and here it start to get blurry and it start to get like a drawing so you see even you know starting to lose the shape the noise reduction kicking in you know which means a lot of noise is introduced see the mountain here guys can you compare this to that? I would say rather no. Overall still not bad, but you know, specifically in those highlights and the dynamic range, Google camera still, still a clear winner. This one here is a very interesting shot. Let me show you why, because this was the picture guys that I took initially. So this is the picture from the Google camera just by using SGI platform that just you can get how dark it is. And now let me show you Google camera versus OnePlus 7 stock camera. And all right, you see what I mean here guys? Here, this is the moment of truth. You see here, very distinguishable grass. Here, we have a Monet painting. Overall, you know, not so bad. But if you try to pixel peep, I think, yeah, we have a clear winner. And that's not OnePlus stock camera, it is Google camera. Okay, few more to go, guys. This one also is a picture that I liked. It was already very dark and here I have to tell you, here I am really impressed with what OnePlus was able to do because even if we try to zoom here, still is not so bad, you know. So, you know, sometimes, I can tell you, sometimes really OnePlus is catching up. Again, now there are some things here I need to show you. Here you can clearly see we have a tree. Here the tree almost not recognizable. All right, dynamic range, not so good, but overall details, levels and etc. Highlights still, I think, not catching up, but still very good. Okay, and one last picture guys to show you now. Again, night side, dark outside, and just look at those results. I think here is almost like one to one, of course. Here this is done on the street where you have street lighting, etc. But it still shows that the OnePlus camera is really catching up. Here even see how it's feeling with the, the, the wild balance. I mean, even here we don't really have a very big difference, right? And you know how OnePlus used to be without the wild balance and when you were shooting like street lamps, it was very, very bad. Now, I can tell you, you know, it is still not up to the detail that we have here, you know, if I need to zoom, it's still not 100%, you know, crisp and sharp, but you still see it is a very nice result. All right, guys? I think this was the last picture. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, guys. And like I told you in the beginning, if you want to support me, just please click on subscribe to my channel and then ring this bell, whatever the bell is. Guys, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. I really hope that you like them. And with that said, guys, just don't forget to come back for some more interesting content. Stay safe, you and your families, PSD, over and bye.